Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is a Monday. Welcome to Monday. Today, it's supposed to be in the 40s, and then tomorrow, it's supposed to be 55 degrees here. 55. Can't believe it. So excited. Finally, some warmth. Zoe really wants to be involved here. I swear. They are calling my name. They're like, Laura, come and let us out. All right, one egg. We had a goose egg yesterday. So we got a goose egg every every other day. And we get a duck egg every day. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the day. Is this your favorite part of the day, Sophie? Sophie's in baby, baby goat land. <laughs> I know, he just loves people. He loves being held. He's pretty darn cute. She's in baby Winston land. This is well, all. if I put him down, he'll just climb on me. Yeah, I know. He asks to if be If I want to leave, I have to toss him over there, then run over here. So that's a common thing in baby goats, especially when they're bottle fed. Less common. We don't have to bottle feed Yeah, we don't have to bottle feed him to make him ha him super friendly. We just need to, to hold him often and get him used to us. Face. Look how cute that is. I know. He has a really cute face. Really, really cute. Okay, so this is my I'm favorite part of the day. I'm going to show you guys. This is where I let everybody out. No, I don't oh, think she gets out. She just jumps. She karate chops off the wall. She karate chops off the wall. She tried to do it. As I let them out each day, I'm looking at udders and I'm watching baby Winston run out. I watch him run in, I watch him run out. He knows the routine, he knows where to go. Actually, he always goes back to that couch back there and it's like, I'll just hang here. Uh, tomorrow is her. The first day of her due date, remember there's a range, a 10 day range, day 140 to day 150. Tomorrow is day 140 for her. So we're watching for an utter pop. No pop. Then I let out these girls. I'm also watching for an utter pop, not from her. Yeah, she's getting big and heavy and it's hard for her to walk. Her utter is massive, but no pop. But when it pops, it doesn't swing like that. Her thing is getting more poofy. So she's yeah, her vulva is getting way more poofy. And then we're going to watch baby Winston, who gets so excited. <laughs> he loves to run outside normally. <laughs> he gets distracted. I also take a look at her udder. <laughs> and make sure that it, she's not engorged. She's been doing great lately. He's, like, I'm He's been doing great taking all the the milk out of her udder. I can still see one side is Wait, not as drained, but the other side isn't engorged. <laughs> All right, out you go. Come on, I told them you know the routine. Do the routine. <laughs> All right. He's just thrown a fit behind you. Here come the noisy ones. And we're not looking for anything in these guys other than... <laughs> fat there. Yeah. <laughs> let her go near him. I know. She's so bossy with him. I mean, it's good. <laughs> and then we just stand here and we watch everybody and just, again, check udders. And then at night before we bring them in, we'll check ligaments. Aw. He has to lay down now. No, he fell. Oh. He's growing a lot. He's not a huge, like he, I've seen buck, bucklings be way bigger. He's not super huge, but he's, he's a good size. He's healthy and happy. We gotta be short and fat like his dad. Yeah, his dad is kind of shorter and chunky. I got what he wanted. He has frosted ears. She got what she wanted. He has frosted ears, just like his mama. And his grandma. And his grandma, who's hopefully going to be giving birth any day here. I hope she gives birth on Friday or Saturday, 145 and 146. Just funky. All right, let's go. Oh, actually, I have to throw hay. You can go ahead. We, we stand here and we watch them every morning. In fact, you should throw hay. <laughs> hey. So what I was trying to explain about this little girl, Lola, she is with the herd, but they push her off all the time. They don't let her be here. So we throw food in all different places. Winston's trying to make her in the herd. Yeah, Winston loves her and wants to play with her all the time, but... It's because she can't actually hurt him. Winston's, yeah, Winston's mom doesn't like her playing with her baby. So Winston engages with her all the time. I'll show you guys a little video right here. And you can see 
how much trouble Winston causes for. So here you see little baby Winston going after Lola. He totally ignores our little weather and just goes after Lola. He harasses her and harasses her. And all she does is quietly turn around and tell him to stop. He even got her on the ground there for a second. And even though it's all his fault, his mama comes and always gets mad at Lola. But there he goes. He doesn't stop. He keeps harassing her. He follows her around. I think he just wants to play with her and she wants to play with him and be friends with him. But his mom wants nothing to do with that. that. So there she goes. And this happens all day long. <laughs> he is such a hard baby for her to keep up with. So I'm still trying to figure it all out. Like we're breeding it primarily for milk. I want milk. I want to do a lot with the milk. I want to switch over to goat's milk. I love it. So that's our primary focus. But we also want to show and we also want to go to registered goats only. So it makes it difficult to figure out what we're going to do with each of our babies from this little herd. I want to eventually switch over to just registered goats with maybe just a couple of non-registered goats that are our pets and I don't want to breed those ones or I might breed them because I want the milk and then I don't know I don't know what I want to do so it's hard to say like it's a, another just a sec it's another one of those things where I just have to let everything play out I did meet somebody who is amazing that is kind of guiding me in the show thing I'm gonna buy a baby um, a registered baby from hers like one that I can show and she is really been amazing and a big mentor for us she's so upset because he just wants to play and she wants to play with him yeah it's annoying all he wants to do is play with her and she loves to play with him but see she wants to play but the mom won't let her play with him she's like get away from my baby right now and the baby's like I'm coming friend <laughs> Running with her. <laughs> it's terrible. It's honestly so terrible. I feel so I bad for Lola. I had the chance. What? I should have left when I had the chance. Now I'm stuck with this. Oh, He's definitely full of himself. I've never seen Blossom so frisky. Him. Like she just is She's so jumping and kicking out. all the time. She doesn't what? like him around her baby. See her hackles are up. And she doesn't like Lola around her baby, but she does let us around her baby. People always ask us like, why do you leave their blankets on? It should be fine now. <laughs> it is supposed to be fine today, but it is still cold. You can always judge what the weather is like when you have a naked storm and he is standing in the sun because it is still really cold. But it's like that time of year where it's warm in the freezing in the morning, cold in the afternoon, or warm in the afternoon. Anyway, I feel bad for Storm. Penny's managing it though. Anything for food. <laughs> but Stormy Boy does not like the wind. He doesn't like the rain. He doesn't like the cold and he doesn't like the heat. He's just like me. He doesn't like extremes. Except he has an extreme personality. Kind of like me. I understand Storm. I don't think he's appreciating not having his blanket. And then there's Willow over there. She's just standing there, chilling. They're all kind of trying to get some sun. So today an interesting thing happened. We almost got a horse, but it was such a weird situation, you guys. It was so bizarre and I want to tell you guys about it. So today someone asked me if I would take this amazing Clydesdale horse. It's a mare. She was free and she was just looking for a good home. And I was like, no horse is ever free. You guys know, no horse is free. So anyways, they asked me about this horse. Like, would you want this horse? It's free. She's just looking for a good home. And I was like, no, I don't want that kind of, I don't want a big like heavy horse. Oh, I knew she wasn't the right horse for us. Like, I don't want to get just a bunch of horses and have a bunch of horses. And even though I've rescued a lot of animals in the past, I'm never want to get to the point where I am overwhelmed with animals. I want to always like be able to spend my time with the horses and the animals that we have now. And so I know we need a new horse for Sophie, but I don't want to just get a horse to get a horse. Anyways, I said, yeah, like, let me look at the picture. Let me see the video of the horse just to be polite. And then they showed me the horse and I was like, holy moly. That horse spoke to me. 
I know it seems like I say that a lot, but I swear to God I don't. Like, only a very few number of horses actually speak to me, but just the picture of that girl, she was stunning. So then I started thinking like, you know, we could use another bigger horse around here for trail rides. We don't have anything that people can ride when we're going for like a trail ride and stuff. She is like such a big heavy horse that I know a lot of our family and friends could ride. I know that Sophie could ride it on trail. Like obviously it's not a jumping horse, but obviously I could see like after seeing how amazing she was, like her, her eyes just spoke to you. Like staring in that horse's eyes just made you feel love for her. So then I'm like, well, maybe this is a possibility. Like maybe this would be a good horse for us. So then I sent the video and I sent the thing to Sam and Sam's like, no, no way. And then I sent it to Sophie and Sophie's like, yes, I love her. And I was like, I know, me too. And I talked to my sister about it, who's like an animal, animal control officer. She's like, there's anything about animals. My sister knows it, has been there, has done it. Like, and she rescues everything. And my sister's like, get it <laughs> and I messaged them and was talking to them about her situation and although she's still quite young she is 13 she just definitely wasn't the right horse for us and she's really far away hi guys we came for a visit we come down several times a day now just to check especially because it's warm but also because we just want to make sure that we don't miss anybody in labor. Like we did. Like we already did once. You like this. This is your favorite. So apparently goats love apples. That's a huge... <laughs> she takes it out of her daughter's mouth. You want some? A little Lola? You be nice and let her have some. <laughs> She's... She's a little aggressive when it comes to apples. So in the end, I, I knew that the horse wasn't right for us. And that's just what I wanted you guys to know. And this is what's really been hard for me is this whole horse buying situation. Like in the past, we've bought horses, almost every horse, almost every horse we've bought has been a really high pressure sales. It's been like, oh, if you like it, you better buy it now because somebody's coming tomorrow. Like every single horse we try, somebody's coming tomorrow. And it was really strong with Finn, like, the whole Finn situation, we went back twice and we went to view him twice and it was so high pressure. Sam and I felt so much stress. Like, I always need time to think about things. I always need time to pray about them before I can decide. And whenever I make a decision that's super rash, I always feel unsettled. I always feel like I need more time. Like I am somebody who needs time to figure things out. I need time to like, process things and weigh things and so we almost got a horse today but we didn't <laughs> i was considering her there though for a second and i think like she was really cute not as cute as you though <laughs> do you like apples oh so i want to know in the comments below what would you have done if someone offered you a free horse in a breed that you love a breed that you think you could make use of Sally. would you have taken it and then just dealt with whatever happened after or would you have taken time and thought about it and taken time to think about it or take taken time to pray about it and to sleep on it comment below what you guys would have done if someone offered you a Clydesdale mare don't you know that you're beautiful